What is spectrum auctioning? I begin with a very simple example to explain what is auctioning. I have two balls here, right? Now the first ball, I say I want to sell it for rupees 10. The other ball, I say I want to sell it for rupees 20. Now what is this rupees 10 and rupees 20? This is the base price that I have decided. Now I bring this ball and bring it for auction. What does that mean? There would be various people who would be interested in buying this ball. But let's say this ball A is a common ball. You can get it everywhere in the market. So no one would bid for this ball because this is an ordinary football that you can get in the market. So even if I put this for auction, let's say person one who walks and say I want to purchase it for 10. Person 2 would say I also want to purchase it for 10. Person 3 would say I also want to purchase it for 10. So that means this ball would be sold at the base price that I have decided and that's 10 rupees. However, I have another ball B here. Now this is a unique ball with a smiley. So let's say I put this ball at an auction base price for 20. Now the person 1 who walks in says that this looks beautiful. I am ready to give rupees 22 for it. The next person says, oh no, this is really the one that I would like to go for. So I am ready to pay 25. The third person would say, I am ready to pay 30. The fourth person would say, I am ready to pay 35. Now this 35 becomes a cap. There is no other person willing to pay more than 35. That means the base price was decided at 20 rupees, but it was finally sold at 35 rupees for the ball B. For the ball A, the base price was decided at 10 rupees and finally it was sold at 10 rupees. Now this is what we call as a auction system. Now once we have understood the auction, let's understand what is spectrum auction. So spectrum is the allocation of the band waves which is given by the government. So government actually asks for bidding on the electromagnetic waves which are provided, the various electromagnetic bands. Now these electromagnetic bands are scarce resources and government allocates them. So government puts a base price for each of these bands. So let's say there is a band of 600 megahertz, there is a band of 700 megahertz, there is a band of 1800 megahertz, 3300 megahertz, 26 gigahertz. Now these are all different electromagnetic bands. Now the government would put a base price. Okay, I want to sell it for X amount, I want to sell it for Y amount, Z amount, A amount and B amount. What the companies would do? They would come and go for an auction. Now this was the base price that is decided. Let's say for 600 megahertz, the company is not willing to pay more than the base price. None of the company is willing to get this band. So there is no, no rise in the auction price. It would be sold only at the base price. But for example, let's say 3300 megahertz and 26 gigahertz are two of the uh, bands which are sold for 5G purpose. So there is a higher demand for it. Now since there is a higher demand for it, the bidding could go higher. So what happened in the recent 5G auction which was done, there was a rigorous bidding for 1800 megahertz and there were competing parties for 1800 megahertz. Uh, four important parties who were players were Reliance Geo, Adani, Airtel and Vodafone. Right Now they have competed for the various bands. Now among these bands, 700 megahertz is an important band. It provides a range of 6 to 10 kilometers from one tower and is the basis for 5G. So uh, those companies planning to go for 5G would have a rollout initiative from 700 megahertz. Then we also have 3300 megahertz and 66, uh, 26 gigahertz for 5G networking. Now, 3300 megahertz uh, is one of the important platforms that is 
used for non public uh, non public network fixed wireless communication and end to end communication purpose so again an important band uh, of the 10 bands which were auctioned in the recent auction uh, nine of them were sold okay one band which was the 600 megahertz there was no buyer for it and then uh, there was a bidding which was rigorous bidding for 1800 megahertz 71% of the total uh, spectrums which were released in the market were sold in the 2022 auctions so what is the spectrum auctioning is an interesting phenomena where government actually brings the spectrum bands for auction and those are sold in the market this is a scarce commodity and therefore it's a scarce resource and therefore is sold in the market across the various spectral bands and 10 spectral bands were introduced in this session so this is about the basics of what is auctioning and what is spectrum auctioning